a five-year-old with autism and today is her IEP meeting. At first, I was nervous about this meeting, but I know I'm good. Like, I, This is not my first time doing this, but this is a new school district that we're in. So I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know how this is going to go. But I wanted to show y'all this um, Bio Mom blueprint book that I got from me, Mom. I'm going to tag her. Um, she's known on TikTok for her autism advocacy. But I actually reread through the book. I read it already once, but I read it again today going over the IEP checklist and when I tell you it's stuff in here that I always forget to ask and I actually put a little check mark so I don't forget today and I'm taking it with me but school has already been in for like five weeks at this point but we're just not doing her IEP meeting because we're new to the district and so they kind of went off of what our old school district sent over just to you know get a feel for her see how she is in the classroom see how her abilities are and then today we're going to modify it and do it with their system but I say all of that to say, if you're a mom with a child with autism or any type of difference, I'm gonna say difference, um, do not be afraid to advocate for your child. Do not be afraid to go into these meetings. Like, know what you want for your child. Know how to articulate that. And if you need some help, ask for help. Get some resources, get an advocate. Get somebody to go in there with you so that you can get your child what they need. Now, I got like two minutes to get inside the building, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to let y'all know how it went. Okay, y'all, so the IEP meetings are over. They went really good. Um, I don't remember all the details because I did too, but Nia's, which my baby with autism, um, we did adjust her goals a lot from our old school district. Our old school district IEP was very specific on certain things, and so now, you know, we want to focus on her communication, and which is really the key to everything else. So we, they have an app that we're going to try out. They have like a yes and no option, and so that way she can learn the cause and effect portion of like communication and everything else kind of comes after that so it went really good um one thing that i do want to point out i don't know if people do this but um a question that i asked was um what type of communication method are we we being myself and her entire team what way are we going to communicate regularly to get updates on her progress because like she's in kindergarten the teacher you know she can't um she doesn't give like daily progress which i get because it's a, it's a general education type of classroom there's like 20 kids but we uh, decided to with her case manager they're going to give her a special folder where um the teacher can leave notes for today her para because she does have her own para she's a one-to-one -one. her para can leave her notes for today and when she goes to therapy the different therapists can leave their notes that way at the end of, you know, at the end of the year it ends up being like a full book to show like all of her progress and things that trigger her so that we have some type of like paper trail so that is one thing that came out of which i'm really proud about and another thing that we talked about, um, so Nia is completely modified from the classroom. So she doesn't even do the same work that they do. So I did ask that they, you know, make copies of what they're working on with her throughout the week and send it home so that we can work with her at home because she kind of come home. She always takes a nap because, you know, five-year-olds, they send any naps. But when she takes her nap, um, she doesn't really have anything specific to do. And I want to make sure that we're in alignment with her school. So I did ask them to start sending her like home sending home homework that matches what she's already doing in school so they was like yeah we can do that so i'm really excited for her this is going to be a really good year for her um she is delayed still we did decide to opt out of retesting her because honestly retesting her now won't tell much more than what her initial diagnosis said three years ago so we're just going to you know focus on her goals which we have um i think it's like five five general goals but um we're going to focus on that for the year and i'm really excited for her